today I'm going to show you my outdoor project for my beautiful outdoor terrace. So this is what we're starting with, working with. Um, so I just recently ordered a day bed. Sorry, my dog is <laughs> <She's funny. laughs> chasing leaves. Careful, Luna. Um, so I recently um, ordered a day bed from Walmart. Um, shipping was exactly five days. So it's really, it was really fast, like literally a week. Um, it said it was delayed, but actually ended up coming early. So I thought that was really cool. So the day bed is actually going to be right here. And then we're gonna leave this open space here so the dog can play and all that good stuff. So yeah, we're gonna put it together and see how it goes. The reg, and this is how big it was. Um, and now I'm gonna try to put it together with no help to see how that goes. Guys, so this is the bottom portion. I put one side together already. I think this is probably like the hardest thing to put together and like the arm part because it's supposed to lay down flat because it's a day bed. So I have to put on this side now over here. And then so when you pull it up like this, it lays flat. Put this on this side. Yay guys, I put it together, put it back on. Yeah. All right, and I'm gonna put it outside. This is the giant cushion. It's now gonna go on the top. See, it's like pitch dark out. I'm gonna show you my results in a video. Hey guys, it's morning, guys. I'm so excited to show you this day bed. Like, I'm all bonneted out. Like, I'm so excited to show you guys that. So, let me hop up. I can show you. Okay. Here it is, Luna. Here it is. Uh, our day bed. Yes. So wrinkly right now. <laughs> oh, you know, it's kind of feeling like the picture. It's kind of feeling like the picture. But yeah, like that is her. We did it. Um, I didn't attach the pillows yet because I found some zip tie anchors that I'm going to end up sewing. Um, to the back of the cushions and then zip tying them um, to the back part of the like to the little rails okay, here. Go ahead and like sew on the zip tie anchors and then zip tie them so I know that they don't fly off the roof. Um, but like when it gets really windy up here because it definitely does. Before I flip this over, I'm going to show you the tools that you're going to need in order to make sure focusing in order to make sure that your cushions don't end up falling off so you will need these zip tie anchors um, and then you'll need a needle and thread these cable ties are going to be used for the bottom cushion so let me flip this over so you can take a look So where the zipper is, here, I placed the anchor a little bit further down by the zipper area uh, because I know that I'm probably gonna anchor it this way. Um, so like the back lumbar area is the area that actually is gonna end up hooking. Um, so it's a little messy, my stitching, but I just went like through the middle and around the whole, basically making the cute little Zia symbol, a little New Mexico symbol there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that to all three of these, making four, and then also do a couple for my long piece here. Um, so since it has stopped raining out, it's raining really bad over here, um, since it stopped raining, 
I'm gonna go ahead and open up this cushion and do the next step of my process. Is using Flex Seal to protect the cushions so they don't get wet, like soaking, soaking wet. Um, so like it just rained right now. It rains a lot here in DC, um, especially in the summertime. So I want to be able to still use my outdoor set even after it stopped raining and just kind of like dust it off a little. Um, and then, you know, not have cushions be soaking freaking wet. So I got this really good idea to use Flex Seal, right? Um, because it is like a liquid rubber in a can. <laughs> so it should spray the cushions down and then build some type of like barrier at the top and it's so flexible enough to where I don't have to spray it on my furnace, on my actual covering. Um, so my boyfriend's idea was to just go ahead and spray this directly to the covering. I did try to do that in the corner because I thought like, okay, it will probably work like Scotchgard. Um, but I quickly realized it will change the color of the cushion. So I stopped doing that, brought the cushions outside and I'm going to spray them. Um, but now it's raining and my hair is going to get freaking ruined. So I'm going to go. We'll see how this works. I have successfully sewed down all of these zip tie anchors. Now I'm gonna just loop them in here and then loop it around the back of my base and then they will be stuck on there like so. Gonna come off. All right, Luna, do a quality inspection. Make sure she's good to go. I think she passed. So this was my day bed from walmart.com, Better Homes and Gardens. Um, it took me about an hour and a half to do. I went ahead and got some end tables from Ross. This one's like a mosaic tile. Um, I plan to put a small pot at the top of the other side. Um, yeah, it didn't take me that long. I did some extra steps, took a little longer, but um, this is my finished product. So let me know if you love it. I love sharing these tips and tricks. Yes. Be sure to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.